have a collection of some years in my life, and I want to say two things that I have learned. Number one, the initial dreams we have had 65 years ago, that looked great, well, too small. We should dream in a larger scale than we do, because the reality exceeds the dreams. And secondly, not to give up the dreams themselves, because the great things are being born in our dreams and are becoming the reality. We live in a new age, which is in certain ways very Jewish knowledge, open minds, dialogue, the lack of prejudices. If I shall take two extremes, we are now 65 years of the independence of Israel, 70 years of the revolt in the ghetto wars. Hitler thought this is the supreme race. We thought that every person was born in the image of the Lord, of the Lord equal. After 70 years, who was right, who was wrong? Hitler is a shame, and we are a hope. So we have to understand that values are the greatest thing in life. And I do believe that we are going to have a different world with a different government. And I think it will happen soon. I think in the coming decade, you will see a totally different world that will be governed by three pillars. One of the national governments. They will be diet governments because they cannot run economy, economy is global. Because they cannot overcome terror, terror is global. Then we shall have the, internet, the global companies that are governing by good will, not by armies. And they will continue to discover the secrets of nature, which is being called science. And here we shall pay a, a role. And finally, we shall begin to understand ourselves by knowing how our brain functions. Today it's a paradoxical situation. We have a brilliant instrument, which is called brain, that enables us to build artificial brains, but doesn't permit us to understand our own brain. Now the supreme effort of the rest of the world is to make us understand how does our own brain function so we shall become choosers instead of beggars. These three things will happen soon enough, and this fits very much the basic philosophy of Judaism. I was an optimist, I am an optimist, and I suggest, dear friends, don't become victims of passing problems. Remain believers in the basic and great issues of our life.